Jocelyn was diagnosed with autism at 18 months old. No, it did not make sense at first. The innocence in her life made it impossible to accept, to be able to confess that reality was not in favor of my dreams. Because to me, I saw a happy and fearless baby, vibrant, whole, having her smile every chance that I got. That was my goal and it worked. She was perfect to me. Having two daughters, <laughs> it changed the game. Expanded my own mind frame of what a miracle looked like. This was my life. There was no second guessing it. But then she took a while to crawl and I kept believing everything was fine. I embraced her timeline and I gave her her space, but her pace was getting slower and it took her 18 months to walk. I contacted a doctor. They asked me if she could talk or at least say a couple of words or how she was playing with her toys. All of these questions I didn't have answers to. I never realized there was this void. She was missing something. And through a whole walk of life, I didn't see it. Mama. Johnson, Mama. As the months went by, I started understanding things. I started to notice the things that she was lacking. And instead of attacking every word that defined autism, I started to embrace them. Instead of running from her challenges, I started to face them. The milestones that she was hitting were triggering parties in my soul. The mountain she was climbing at only two years old. The transformations that I saw unfold all because Jocelyn would not quit. Walking, swimming, jumping, dancing, oh, and that wasn't it. Her receptive and verbal skills were life-changing. Her ability to express her emotions and her heart, it was all life-changing. And I would take her everywhere with me, traveling all over the world, that was her thing. The freedom she found in the skies, the joy that I saw it bring. And we went everywhere, everywhere. with her big sister by her side, to guide her, protect her. Kayla was and is the one person who helps Jossie grow. Say, thank you, Kayla. Thank you, Kayla. <laughs> Jocelyn, here. Jocelyn. Has she overcome every obstacle? No. She still has a long way to go, but I make sure that I stop every time I see her progress. Whether they're big or small, they all carry the same meaning of success. I beat I did it. Being a mother to a child on the spectrum is an amazing journey. I used to be naive and sheltered in the way that I lived. <laughs> I used to believe life was supposed to hand me perfect kids. I commend all mothers who row in similar boats as mine. You understand how to navigate the deepest and strongest waves. The protection and guidance you place over your special child in the darkest of days, how you keep rowing. Other parents may not understand our path, our grips, on these paddles are a much tighter grasp, but we keep rowing. I live in hopes to be Jocelyn's greatest support because there'll be times when the world won't understand her. They won't understand why she loves to echo phrases, line up every toy in all different types of spaces, sing songs to express her emotions, why she keeps to herself when she doesn't want to go through the motions of having to fit in. This is who Jocelyn is and the world that she lives in. And if she's short on words, <laughs> she makes up for it with hugs and kisses. Being short on words doesn't stop her from expressing her wishes. Okay. I'm eager to turn the page and see what's in store. The dreams that she'll live for, the evolution of her young mind. I'm eager to see how the world will view her and how autism will be defined. If we can learn to embrace the different colors of humanity by stretching ourselves, to be compelled, to take time to care. So when we see someone different, we can do more than just stare. Until then, don't ever stop rowing. I'm sure we'll eventually get